जय हिंद एवरी वन माई नेम इज सर्वचंद वर्मा एंड करेंटली आई एम वर्किंग एज ए असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद एंड टूडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस टाइप्स ऑफ बिग डेटा इफ वी टॉकिंग अबाउट बिग डेटा बेसिकली बिग डेटा इज ए हेट्रोजीनियस टाइप What is the meaning of heterogeneous? Means different type. That data is categorized into the three categ category. First one is structured, unstructured, and semi-structured. But inside this figure, you have better analyze that the maximum amount of data. maximum amount of big data generated by the end pupil is unstructured data again the question will arise if data is in a particular pattern we can analyze easily but if we want to find out the informations from the videos uploaded on a facebook and if we want to find out the uh, image on twitter or instagram and we can find out the intentions of a particular end user why they upload this type of image and this is a very tedious task this is this is called the how to analyze a particular data so that's why lot of big data tools are available like hadoop is a one big data tools which is capable uh, mongodb is again the one database which is used to identify the hidden patterns from the structured unstructured and semi structured data so that's why the scenario is to to totally different change that's why some new branches like data science ai ml machine learning are comes nowadays in engineering colleges so because data uh, the question the main focus of data scientist is that how we can how we can analyze how we can extract the uh, useful informations which is initially stored uh, in a in the database so basically the question is that whatever data will be stored or whatever data will be generated the mostly type of data is unstructured data unstructured data the question is i think you understand the concept so basically the big data has three type structure unstructured and semi structured if we talking about structured data if we talking about structured data so you will see here the structure is one of the type is a big data and by structured data the data is can be easily process stored and retrieve in a fixed format this is the example of structured data you will see here that data will be stored in the form of row and columns inside this data we have five columns and five rows technically this table will be stored at a particular database in the form of row and column and same data we can retrieve as it is in the form of row and column sql language will use to store the data into the database and retrieve the data from the database these are they are the various commands like sql uh, we can say suppose this is a, we have one customer table so select star from customer wear salary in lakh greater than 5 lakh we can easily find out the data easily uh, these 5 5 lakh means this row this row and this row will be printed okay so this is the example of structured data the data storage is easy data analyzing is easy data mining is easy and these are the different where does 
नेक्स्ट स्ट्रक्चर डेटा कम्स फ्रॉम तो दिस इज आर द डेटा बेस टेबल्स स्प्रेड शीट्स एस क्यू एल्स तो दीज आर द सम पॉपुलर्स डेटा बेस इज लाइक अमेजन और माई एस क्यू एल इज अगेन द डेटा बेस रिलेशनल डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम ऑरेकल डेटा बेस आई बी एम डी बी टू इज अगेन द रिलेशनल डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम दिस इज द मारिया डी बी एस क्यू एल सर्वर वे हर द बल्क ऑफ दिस एस क्यू एल सर्वर इज कैपेबल टू स्टोर द बल्क अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा टेरा डेटा दिस इज अगेन अमेजन ऑर डी एस तो दीज आर द सम पॉपुलर सर्वर्स फॉर डीलिंग विद द रिलेशनल डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम और वी कैन से दिस इज कॉल्ड द आर डी बी एम एस दीज आर द सम पॉपुलर आर डी बी एम एस सॉफ्टवेयर तो दिस इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर डेटा सिंपली वी कैन से डेट डेटा विल बी वेल मैनेज वेल स्ट्रक्चर्ड द डेटा स्टोरेज एंड रिट्रीविंग द डेटा इन ए पर्टिकुलर पैटर्न एंड वी कैन से दिस टाइप ऑफ डेटा इज स्ट्रक्चर डेटा नाउ वॉट इज अनस्ट्रक्चर डेटा बिकॉज दिस डेटा जनरेटेड बाय द एंड यूजर इज एट्टी परसेंट तो बेसिकली अनस्ट्रक्चर डेटा रेफर्स टू द डेटा डेट लैक्स एनी स्पेसिफिक फॉर्म और स्ट्रक्चर वॉट्स वॉट्स एवर सेकेंड थिंग द स्ट्रक्चर डेटा डज नॉट हैव ए प्री डिफाइंड स्ट्रक्चर and is common in source like these are the common source of unstructured data is email pdf images audio files video files social media post so these are the various sources where the unstructured data comes now क्वेश्चन इज डेट हाउ इज अनस्ट्रक्चर डेटा स्टोर तो बेसिकली अनस्ट्रक्चर डेटा इज यूजली स्टोर इन ए नॉन रिलेशनल डेटा बेस लाइक हडूप और नो एस क्यू एल एंड प्रोसीड बाय अनस्ट्रक्चर डेटा एनालिटिक्स प्रोग्राम लाइक ओपन टेक्स्ट आइडॉल दीज आर द समलिटिक्स टूल्स and these databases can store and process large amount of unstructured data second is how is unstructured data analyze the first one is different different algorithms are available just you have to click and find out the hidden patterns so how we can analyze the big data the so first one is text mining so basically this technique extract valuable information from text based source for example text mining can analyze customer reviews to identify patterns and trend customer review means just you buy one product on amazon and after buying this particular product you just review the products Uh, products ye characteristics in the review text area then this is a example of ki at the end of uh, amazon server one data scientist or group of data scientist have sit here and they um, they perform the algorithm and they find out the hidden pattern it means re customer review patterns and identify the whether this product is good for particular society or particular user or not second thing is sentiment analysis the sentiment analysis is this technique identifies emotions in the text based source for example sentiment analysis can ex can examine social media post to determine positive or negative sentiments about a brand or product suppose i am buying some i am uh, post some uh, picture on a facebook and that time uh, 
four to five people's comments on a particular picture is good and four to five people's comments on a particular picture this is bad this is uh, not good so you will see here we can analyze the sentiment on a particular post so again this is the sentiment analysis and second one is machine learning so basically machine learning is a technique in which we we first uh, we prepare the model on a particular input data then we can give the new data and uh, depends on new data common to a particular model then that model will predict the particular output and give the response whatever they learned in previous so this is the again technique is machine learning so this technique find patterns in the data for example tools that features machine learning can ins inspect customer behavior to identify trends okay so these are the some types how is unstructured data analyzed and second and last is semi structured data so basically semi structured data also known as partially structured data we can say this data is called as a partial structured data but what is the meaning of partial structured data is a type of data that does not follow the tabular structure this is not follow the any type of tabular structure means semi structured data supports in a hierarchical data structure that contain nested information these are the what kind of nested informations you will see here uh, extensible markup language has become one of the most popular semi structured data format json is a commonly used alternate to xml javascript this is called the javascript object notations collect semi structured data from iot devices web browser and smartphone so basically this is the example of semi structured data cookies web logs and these are stored in the json file xml file so this is the, again the example of this is the example of semi structured data like uh, this is a tag of house number and uh, then uh, street name area name these are the some uh, data will be stored in a angle brackets so in this uh, video uh, in this lecture we have understand structured unstructured and semi structured data second thing the bulk amount of data we talking about is unstructured data and the major problem or major challenge is task for data scientist is that to analyze the unstructured data so basically in this video we understand what is the types of big data different sources what are the various challenges to analyze the big data like uh, inside the structured semi structure and unstructured data now after discussing the types of big data now we are going in uh, what are the different types of big data platform so basically before understanding the big data platform first we have to understand the characteristics of the big data platform so basically how big data platform will deal in a real time applications so first one is ki the characteristics of big data platform is support several data formats several data formats means the data may be structured unstructured and semi structured so that the the plat the big data platform are capable to store the different formats of data second thing big data platform have capacity to accommodate data at any speed because uh, this is the characteristics of big data uh, okay so that data is capable to store the data 
which is comes from different source on different speed that they can accommodate. Third is have the tool for data analysis. It is a not possible just to uh, just to retrieve the data and store the data. Because if you store the data, this is dump data. The next phase is to analyze the data. So, in that case, the big data platform is capable to analyze the data which is stored inside the database. And last is ability to accommodate large volume. It means it are it is capable to store the data in a big volume, gigabyte, terabyte, in in term of data they can store. So these are the four characteristics of a good big data platform. First one is support several data formats, capacity to accommodate data at any speed, have the tool for data analysis and accommodate to store data in a bulk amount. Okay. Now, how big data platform work? Basically, big data platform workflow can be divided into the following phases. So, first one is data collection. What we see inside a data, data collection? Big data platform collect data from various sources such as sensors data, web logs data, social media data and other database. This is the first phase they are capable to store to, to collect the data from the different source. Second is data storage. Data storage means once the data is collected, it is stored in a repository. So, if we are talking about Hadoop, it is a big data analysis tool. So, Hadoop distributed file system is a system which is used to store the data inside the database in the Hadoop big data platform. Amazon S3 and Google Cloud service are the different tools or applications where we can store the data. Third phase is data processing. What is the meaning of data processing? So basically, data processing involves tasks such as filtering, then transforming and aggregating the data. This can be done using distributed processing framework such as Apache, Apache Flink and Apache Storm. So, these are the sub modules on a Hadoop big data platform and different different modules are useful to perform the specific task on a platform like for storing for data storage HDFS comes into the picture for data processing Apache Spark and like this modules comes into the picture. Uh, fourth one is data analytics. So basically, after data is processed, it can be analyzed with analytics tool and techniques such, such as different machine learning algorithms, different such in, um, techniques such as machine learning algorithm, then a predictive analysis and data visualizations are there. Data visualization means we can plot different types of graph of a particular data. Fifth step is data governance means data governance means data cataloging, data quality management and data linear is tracking, ensuring the accuracy, completeness and security of the data. Whatever you, you data store, whatever data you analyze, this is the most important points you have provide the security on a particular data. Then last phase is data management. Basically, big data plot, big data platform provide management capability and enable organizations to make backups, recovery and archives to to provide the data in the uncertainty conditions like if your database is failure then uh, they provide some management 
tools for storing the uh, partial copy of a particular data so that in future if data one server become fail then we can retrieve the data from the another server so this is the scenario and this these are the some phases uh, how big data platform work first is start with data collection then data storage data processing data analytics data governance and finally data management so these are the flow of executions from uh, data collection to data management So thank you so much. Uh, this is the uh, this is about the what uh, type uh, how big data platform can work and what are the characteristics of a particular big data. Thank you.